I guess that would have to be waste reduction. I guess I'm just really passionate about it. I find it's something that's really tangible and um, everybody can kind of relate to it. It's like you start talking garbage and everybody has something to say because everybody makes garbage right. every day. So um, I've been passionate about it for a long time and just kind of rolled with it. I guess it has to be my parents. Growing up, we never threw anything away, really. My dad was a big hoarder. It could always be used some, you know, for something. Waste isn't natural, so people have a natural right. aversion to it. Um, so they, they like to do, you know, people want to recycle. They want to like, you know, go out of their way to, you know. Um, to not waste. To not waste, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of different challenges. Um, one is when you encounter other people that maybe not share so much your passion right. or even think about it. And then I guess the other big challenge is just to stay motivated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How to convince other people. Right. <laughs> Behavior that's change. Uh, that's a big one. <laughs> Composting. I know it's a big challenge for people. There's a lot of perceived barriers. I think um, the effort that it takes, like Hours I don't have week, time or... to do that, or I don't know how to do that might be like two of the biggest things, or I don't have space. But I mean, you can compost under your sink if you really wanted what to. What about the ick factor? And the ick factor. So any thoughts know. on how to get over the ick factor? Um, deal with it right away. Like, right. you know, don't wait till it gets icky. moldy and icky. <laughs> and if it is really icky, like, just bury it fast. Like, you know, make a little hole and cover it up and all of a sudden right. it's gone. Right. Out of sight, out right. of mind, no fruit flies, no smell even. A lot of people mismanage their compost piles. I think the number one thing is that people don't add carbon to their compost pile. Right. Carbon is anything that's um, brown, I guess. Basically so like dead. Dead, yeah. Like, <laughs> like dead wood, leaves. dried leaves, paper, like shredded newspaper. Right. I've used peat moss. I've used wood chips. I've used right. wood pellets. I've used sawdust, um, straw, cardboard, lots of things. Um, dirt you could even use. I would guess that the, the average home composter rarely adds carbon to their pile. That's what's going to take the ick away because all of a sudden you've, you've, you've made your compost from like a heaping pile of rotting food to like a compost pile because it's not composting really like right. until you give it the right ingredients. A little bit of air every so, now and okay, again. So that's another one that people forget about? Yeah, I, I prefer just an open pile. Um, one doesn't cost anything and two it's... What about mice with an open pile? Is that an issue? Well I think mice can get into those black cones too. Okay. Um, if you really want to like stay away from mice you can get like one of those fancy Invesel ones. I Tum use them. The tumblers. The tumblers. You can right. get stainless steel ones for a really nice one for $300. Right. But you can put meat in it, you can put like cooked foods and dairy and all the things that you shouldn't put in your open pile or in your black cone and or you can just get a cat because <laughs> <laughs> not enough food scraps or you're not adding often enough then it can get dried out and just put some water on just put some water on it right. with the hose and right. till it's like now what about nice the mixing dance. it that's the ox oxygen yeah you right. can mix it but you don't even have to really like if you right. if you get so the, the layering right, is the, the layering key. um i like to mix mine because i just I like to see it, I like to, but like there's lots of little bugs and don't be fair, scared of the little bugs reducing. Like right. we all love, like, you know, I, people, oh, I, I fill out my recycling bin every week. It's like, well, you know, that's still waste. Um, so shopping in when bulk. When you say still waste, what do you mean by that? Well, it's people still, say waste is waste, recycling is recycling. Yeah, but it's, it's still like anything that you're not want anymore getting rid of, like compost is waste. You know, the everything, recycling, composting, okay. thrift store, it's all kind of waste to you because you don't want it anymore. Right, right. So you're getting rid of it. But, like, I think the number one is to re try and reduce that. So, right. Right. you know, really thinking about what we buy, 
and disposable like we're, we're a lot of people just hooked on disposables right. and you know everything's just so much convenience in our life right. that we got to buy everything so that we just oh I'm gonna use this fork for one minute and then I'm gonna throw it away and it's or, it's or, there or, or I think a lot of or people a, or, a lot of people think I'm gonna use this disposable fork but it's recyclable so everything's okay yeah Right. And really, it's it's still like recycling requires a lot of energy. Like right. we don't have a recycling plant in Kamloops. Right. When you put something in the recycle bin, it goes to Va Valley View. It gets bailed. It goes all the way to Vancouver. Right. So it gets like trucked, bailed up, trucked down to Vancouver, and then from there it gets sorted. <coughs> and then who knows? Like it goes <coughs> to Seattle or I don't know, right. China. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. to get you know, and then it takes energy to recycle it right. and and then it's not really recycled it's downcycled because you can never really retain right. Right. all the so a yogurt container yeah has to go to be a park bench it's yeah. never going to become another yogurt, yogurt container. container right so that whole idea of just reducing so you know shopping in bulk and shopping with like buying real foods whole foods instead of farmer's market yeah farmer's market shop local um you know and there's so many like other benefits to doing that as well like you become healthier your food bill goes down <laughs> right. you don't waste as much food i've heard every like one third of all the food in the world that is wasted well in canada according to the movie just eat it it's 40 percent oh okay I remember that very distinctly. Yeah. Forty percent of all the food produced in this country ends it's, up as waste. It's not eaten. Yeah. Right. You reuse. Like that's a really fun thing. Like we we have little kids, and I don't buy art supplies anymore. Right. I don't buy them toys anymore. Right. We look in our garbage and our recycle bin, and just in the stuff we have to make projects. You know, they games, games and you know, I don't know why we have to buy crafts. There's lots of creativity to be had in a recycle bin. Right. <laughs> Cans, yeah. plastic bottles, paper. Yeah. You could probably make your own glue somehow. <laughs> Find an old horse. No. Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> kidding. But just don't try to do too much at once, I think right. is the most important thing. Like just right. pick one thing and do that. And then once you're like comfortable with, comfortable that. with that, do another thing right. and another thing and yeah. The guy next to me at work, I was giving him a hard time because he always had a coffee cup. <laughs> and now he's, you know, <laughs> he's got, reusable he's got mug. his reusable mug and all good. Well, now that I'm working for the city, <laughs> I'm hoping that I can help our community meet our targets. <laughs> the Sustainable Candlets Plan has a goal of, I write, I believe that we're sitting at uh, 600 kilograms per person per year is disposed. And I'm hoping to Check. make that, One, bring that down to 300. So put that, Check. cut that in half by um, 2020. Yeah, that's okay. my goal. That's a good goal. <laughs> that's <laughs> yep. awesome. Ellen MacArthur Foundation. Right. So this woman's doing some incredible work to shift our economy. Is, um, main, is that the main focus of the Ellen? Yeah, the foundation that's what is, they is do, to... the circular economy. Okay. That's that's all they do. Okay. And, I mean, it's pretty big. Right. Trying to change the world economy. Right, right. right. <laughs> From a linear to circular. Right. Um, so yeah, she's my, she's my role model. I like the saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And my other favorite quote is, um, Mahatma Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world. Yeah. It's really hard to advocate for something if you're not walking the talk. <laughs> walking the talk. Yeah. You don't get much credibility or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it.